Gold are trading higher today. That is despite unveiling a full year loss. That's right, up over around 3% but today. Uh, they did report a net, uh, net loss of around $147 million, but the stock is trading higher because that loss did narrow around 12% from their full year loss of $167 million last year. And there were some significant charges here, around $267 million. Uh, this includes a major restructure of the business as well as its write-downs in some of its bakery businesses. Uh, so this lot, loss had been expected by the market and pretty well flagged by the business. Uh, certainly looking to restructure in terms of saving costs and um, growth in the future, but it is very tough trading conditions uh, for Goodman at the moment. There's a couple of major factors here. First of all, you can look at the uh, continued increased competition for Goodman here. Uh, this especially in terms of private home brand names from uh, the big supermarkets such as Woolworths and Coles. Uh, the home private label brands uh, used to make up uh, around five years ago around 13.5% of sales. Uh, this has now grown to over 20% and Ibis World uh, expects this could grow to up to around 33% of sales in the next five years or so. So significant competition there. Coles has five different home brands while Woolies has four different private label brands. So significant competition there. Uh, we've also seen an increase in grain and cereal prices recently. Uh, at the moment in particular, uh, severe droughts in the US. Uh, crop yields over there, sort of 20-year lows, and this has really pushed the price of inputs uh, as bread is one of their core businesses for Goodman. Uh, Goodman Fielder is a little bit hard to value because it does, uh, there is a bit of a lack of direct comparisons in terms of peers. Um, uh, some M&A takeover talk did support the share price earlier this year, but since then, if you look back over the past, uh, track record isn't particularly good at Goodman Fielder. They have a high management turnover, um, and over the past quarter, we've seen the stock down around 20%, but today trading higher around 3%. Yeah, indeed. Good so far for Goodman. Look, also, very good session to date for carsales.com, the back of what was well widely regarded as a very strong result. It was a strong result. The shares were up close to 10% earlier in the session, now back around 5 to 6% gain. And they recorded a full year profit of uh, 71.5 million. Uh, that's a 23% increase on the last year. And this beat Bell Potter's estimates of around 67 million for the full year. So this was a strong result. Revenues were up across all the segments of the business. Uh, total revenues were up around 21% on the past year. I think the market particularly impressed by the six cent uh, full, uh, special, fully frank special dividend that they announced. So clearly willing to return capital to shareholders, which there has been a lot of talk in the market about some companies not willing to do that at the moment. Uh, so CarSales has built a particularly strong brand name in this segment. They are online, so it really fits into that change in uh, the move to online in terms of advertising and classifieds. And they, it is a market leading business. They do control around 65% of the online auto classified. So they're in a very strong position there. And the recent performance of this stock has been very strong, up around 30% over the past quarter, um, up close to 60% over the past year. So um, the question is how far this stock can go. Certainly a lot of growth prospects and that's what's driving the share price higher for this business. But they do have some competition. Uh, they've been, uh, recently we've seen uh, Cars Guide relaunch their business. Uh, so a little bit more competition there. We've also seen uh, dealer relationships is very important for cars, uh, for car sales. So this reintroduction of Cars Guide may well reduce some of their pricing power they had in that business, that business making up over 60% of their revenues. But uh, certainly a very good performance by car sales recently. If we look at a two-year graph, you can see uh, over the past year since uh, the start of 2012, a very strong performance in the share price. And today, again, uh, up around 6%. Uh, however, ter in terms of uh, its, uh, its peers and in terms of multiples, it could well starting to look a little bit expensive. But if it can continue impressing the market with strong results like that, uh, could see further gains for these